Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Jason. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy, and it's Reviews Day. Outside and the interior of this 2014 Kia Rondo. So now let's get down into details. I will point out a couple of imperfections that uh, you should know about. When we bought this car, it had roof racks, and I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but it does have a few little marks where those roof racks used to be. On the passenger side door, there are some light scratches on the passenger side rear fender. There's a small little mark over the wheel. So as you can see by the rocker panel here, the paint has been etched off here by the sand from the front wheel. The rocker panel bumps out a little bit and seems to catch a lot of the debris from the front wheels. And there are a few more scratches on the wheel well on the driver's side. This Rondo does have backup sensors and fog lights, four brand new tires, licensed till July, inspected till August 2019. Now, as you saw in the intro video, I showed you that this has a third row seat. Granted, there's not a lot of room back there, mostly meant for small children. We're gonna show you how to access the third row seats. Now, these middle seats are on tracks, so they will slide forward and back. So the easiest thing to do is to slide that track all the way forward. And then pull up on the bottom lever to recline the seat forward and now you have access to the third row. Now a man of my size could not and would not fit in the back seat. I barely have enough leg room with this middle seat folded forward and with it reclined all the way back, you probably could make it work, but not this guy. Not to mention that the seat back for the third row is pretty straight so again, a guy my size, there's, I'm ducking, literally, because there's no headroom. However, a couple of small children would fit back here just fine. 
Now the middle row is another story. There's lots of room back here for a couple of adults. You've also got rear AC vents as well as a 12 volt plug-in. As we make our way into the driver's compartment, the first thing that I notice is the amount of controls that are on the steering wheel. Cruise control over here, radio over here, Bluetooth here, and your on-screen menu controls are here. Like most Kia products, it does have electric assist power steering, which gives you three modes, comfort, normal, and smooth. You'll see there are no lights on on the dash, and this vehicle has 127,364 kilometers. We'll move over to the center stack, and you'll see in the middle that you have your park assist for your backup sensors. You can turn that off. Heated seats, driver and passenger. And when you come up here in front of the shifter is where you have your auxiliary, USB, and a couple of 12-volt plug-ins. This car is fully equipped with AC, AM, FM radio, and satellite radio. Just like all Kias, there's a ton of storage in the glove box. Each door has a cup and map holder. Cup holders here in the middle, as well as a deep storage pocket for the armrest. And like the Dodge Grand Caravan, it does have the convex mirror so you can keep an eye on those kids. Sunglasses holder and driver and passenger vanity mirrors. One of the things I like about these Kia Rondos is the visibility. Just like the Fiat 500L, when you're sitting in this car, you have a 360 degree view of everything around you. Having said that, what do you say we go for a ride? Safety first. Now this Kia Rondo has the Kia Hyundai two liter four cylinder engine, which is mated to an automatic transmission. And because these cars are built on a car style platform with unibody construction, they are very smooth, very nimble, and this car, when you get into it, doesn't sit on the ground. The seats are up nice and high. Again, great visibility, and you feel like you're just sitting in a van. So for elderly people or people with disabilities, it's easy getting in and out. For those who are family minded, it's no problem for mom and dad to get in here and get comfortable no matter what size you are. As I said before, it does have air conditioning, blows nice and cold, and it has cruise control, which we're going to test out right now. So we hit the cruise button and set, and the cruise control sets. We're doing about 90, and uh, no problems there. If I hit the accelerate button, it does bump up very quickly. You can hear it downshift. Very responsive. So we're going to set the cruise control up to 100 kilometers an hour, and then we're going to do a hard brake, then a quick acceleration. So we're going to be braking in three, two, one. Whew. Brakes work really good. So again, every vehicle that we buy comes into our shop. We go over it fully. That's why it's got four brand new tires and a new inspection. You can rest assured that everything is fine because we have gone over it all. And now it's time for a quick acceleration. Super smooth shifts. And there's a hundred just like that. Super smooth shifts in this car and you know if you've ever driven anything Hyundai or Kia in an automatic that is one thing that I will give them kudos for is you barely feel the shifts going up through the gears and again because this is based on a car platform that tells me that this vehicle is really good on fuel I know because I've driven several of these in the past I will put the fuel economy numbers right here so that you know what I'm talking about and there you have it guys, that's the 2014 Kia Rondo LX 7 Passenger Edition. We've got a price of $13,450 and remember that this is a sale. Everything on the lot is going. No reasonable offer refused. We have access to several credit lenders so every credit situation is accepted. So stop in today and see myself or Bill and we'll look right after you. You'll notice at the beginning of this video was a very special intro. I gotta give a shout out to my man, Driven By Gears. His information is going to be right above here. He sent me that intro, and I hope you like it because we're going to be using it for the next little bit. I also have the Old Car Auto Guy merchandise. I point to my shirt because I'm not wearing it. I should be. 
The link will be in the description below and you guys can get your very own Old Car Auto Guy t-shirts and hoodies with several color options available. Prices are very reasonable. Guys, don't forget, always stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you. God bless.